Hello and welcome. Many system components around us experience cyclic loading. This fluctuation or harmonic loading may cause micro cracks to form and coalesce to cause fatigue failure. In such cases, catastrophic failure may occur without warning, even at a much lower stress level than those required to cause yielding of the components. To increase the reliability of products, it is very important to study the fatigue life of the components. In this video, we will discuss how we can use ANSYS mechanical fatigue tool to determine the fatigue life and damage caused by the harmonic loading. Ready? Let's go! Generally speaking, in ANSYS mechanical, fatigue analysis can be performed using several methods, including the stress life and the strain life methods. Fatigue calculations using harmonic analysis are based on the stress life method. Please note that while mechanical offers different fatigue analysis options, our discussion will be focused on harmonic fatigue. The stress life method, also designated as the SN method, assumes that the fatigue damage is caused by fluctuating stress, which is also known as alternating stresses. This method is suitable for low stress and high cycle applications, since it does not consider the effects of plasticity. So in the case of ductile materials, the fatigue failure would usually occur when they are subjected to more than a hundred thousand cycles. The fatigue life of a material is characterized by the alternating stress range and stress life or SN curves. This SN curve is a plot of stress range or alternating stress S versus the total cycle to failure N, usually obtained through experimental testing. This is the additional material information needed before performing a fatigue analysis. In ANSYS Mechanical, Fatigue calculations are performed using the fatigue tool. In the details panel of the fatigue tool, you can see various options. Let's start with two parameters that can be used for scaling. The fatigue strain reduction factor Kf can be included to add conservatism into the results since the actual life may not be as high as from the test environment used to get the SN curves. The scale factor is a way to see the effects of life with a different load magnitude without having to run a separate simulation since SN curves are not linear. These two parameters both default to a value of 1, meaning that no changes are included in the fatigue analysis. The stress component provides you with an option to select the stress component on which the fatigue calculation will be carried out, defaulting to equivalent stress. Note that ideally the stress state of the experimental data for the SN curve and the stress used in fatigue calculation should be similar, but this is often not the case, so the user should be aware of this point. Harmonic analysis is performed in the frequency domain, but we usually measure life in the time domain, so we need two parameters to do this conversion, the exposure duration and the frequency. The exposure duration option is used to specify the time duration for which the loading is applied, defaulting to 1 second. Using the frequency option, you can specify one or more frequencies from which the alternating stress will be taken. By knowing the frequency, which is in hertz or cycles per second and exposure duration in seconds, we can calculate the number of cycles experienced by the parts. In terms of the methods available, we can solve a single frequency, multiple user specified frequencies or perform a sweep of a frequency range. After fatigue calculations are performed, we can evaluate the product's life and damage. The fatigue life result provides a contour plot showing the available life in seconds across the component. It is worth noting here that traditionally Fatigue life is expressed in cycles. However, in harmonic fatigue, we can have multiple frequencies, 
So a higher frequency will have more cycles per second than a lower frequency excitation. And comparison of cycles becomes confusing. That is why to account for different frequencies, life is expressed in seconds rather than in cycles. The fatigue damage result is a contour plot showing design life divided by the available life. Damage greater than 1 indicates that the part will fail for the given exposure duration. An important point to consider is that results for single and multiple frequencies cases will use the number of cycles of the last defined ascent data point for undefined low stress values. Extrapolation of the ascent curve is not done outside of your data points. For example, if your last data point on the ascent curve is 1 e raised to 8 cycles at 70 MPa, a value of 30 MPa will be considered to have a life of 1 e raised to 8 cycles if not defined directly. This is important to note because at high frequencies there will be many cycles per seconds. So a shortened life could be predicted if your ascent data does not cover an appropriate stress range. When performing fatigue analysis of a sine sweep, a value of roughly e raised to 32 cycle is used for undefined low stress amplitudes. Let's now get a better understanding of these concepts with the help of a walkthrough example in ANSYS Mechanical. For the walkthrough, we will consider an example of a mounting bracket which is generally an overhanging member that projects from a structure and is usually designed to support a vertical load or to strengthen an angle. In our case, the bracket is designed to support external components connected to it and to absorb the generated vibrations. These vibrations lead to the bracket experiencing a fluctuating or harmonic load that may result in the structural fatigue of the bracket. The bracket has been assigned with an aluminum alloy material. Mounting brackets are generally not designed to handle a large load exciting it at resonance. Hence, our goal through this analysis would be to determine how long the bracket would last if a large fluctuating load of 10,000 Newton is applied for 10 minutes at resonance. After solving the model, fatigue results which will include the life, damage, alternating stress would be analyzed using the fatigue tool in N6 Mechanical. Without further ado, let's get started. Go to the project page and pick file, open. Select the workbench project archive file mounting bracket.wbpg. Save the project to the desired location. We will keep the file name as specified. We could see a harmonic response analysis coupled with model analysis is already added on the project page. Double click on the model cell to open mechanical. Let's review the results of the model analysis. We can review the mode shapes and the first mode is of primary interest. We will look at the response for excitation from 0 to 500 Hz, which will cover the first two modes that have a high effective mass in the z direction. Let us now apply the loads for harmonic response analysis. We are considering a situation where the external component is connected to the bracket through the hole located at the end of the overhanging region. Right click on harmonic response, insert and select force. Scope it to the inner face of the connecting hole. Change the defined by option to components and enter a Z component of minus 10,000 Newton. This force will represent the fluctuating load that the externally mounted components would apply on the bracket in the negative Z direction. Lastly, let's modify the analysis settings. Set the frequency range from 0 to 500 Hz as noted earlier. Change the cluster results option to yes and define cluster number as 10 for higher resolution and accurate prediction of peak frequencies. 
under damping controls set damping ratio to 0.02 which represents 2% damping. Insert frequency response deformation. Scope it to the body and change the orientation to Z axis which is the direction of excitation. The model is now ready to be solved. Right click on harmonic response and solve. As the model is now solved, click on frequency response to inspect the solution. We can observe two peaks that are clustering around the natural frequencies. Notice that the bracket experiences most deformation when it is excited at a frequency near the first mode. Under frequency response, expand results to view the maximum amplitude, frequency and phase angle. Now right click on frequency response, select create control results and evaluate the results. We can observe that the overhanging region of the bracket undergoes maximum deformation of magnitude 8.73 mm. Insert equivalent stress and evaluate at the same frequency and phase angle obtained from the control results. We can observe the region which is experiencing the maximum stress. Now let's check the fatigue results using the fatigue tool. Right click on solution, insert fatigue and pick fatigue tool. Define an exposure duration of 600 seconds or 10 minutes at a frequency of 162.1 Hz which is the natural frequency where the bracket experiences most deformation. Insert life, damage, equivalent alternating stress and evaluate all results. The fatigue life results show that the failure occurs at 3447 seconds. So we can conclude that the mounting bracket will be able to sustain the heavy loading at resonance for more than 10 minutes. From the fatigue damage, we can identify the region which is experiencing the maximum damage. I hope that this simulation example has helped you understand the process to perform a frequency based fatigue analysis for harmonic loading. So let's summarize the learning points of this video. Failure due to fatigue can occur at low stress levels. So investigating fatigue can be an important part of ensuring structural reliability. While ANSYS Mechanical has several different methods for evaluating fatigue failure, we focused our attention on harmonic fatigue that allows us to explore the life and damage of a structure under excitations at single or multiple frequencies. Instead of the traditional approach of looking at the number of cycles to failure, with harmonic fatigue, we look at the time to failure since more than one frequency may be involved. I hope you have found this video informative. Do not forget to check out our other courses to discover more useful learning resources.